It's Wednesday, September 13th, and Paula Kyrgios joins us. She's got a wonderful dog find story. Hi, right. Paula. Tell Hi, us, Jerry. tell us how this whole ordeal started. <laughs> And tell us your dog's name and give us a little background on this wonderful rescue or find. All right, and ordeal is the right word. Ordeal. It's been absolutely excruciating. On the night of August 5th, uh, Lucas, my beautiful walker hound that I had just adopted two weeks before, was out back with my other dogs and some children in the park shot off fireworks. And I leapt from my chair and raced to the back door, but Lucas was gone. The other dogs were there, but Lucas was gone. And um, the search started. But the problem is Lucas is terribly fearful. He came from a hoarding situation in Russell County, Virginia, and he's not been socialized. And although he's as sweet as he can be, he's afraid of his own shadow. So there was no chance of calling him. Plus, he didn't know that name. There was no chance of him coming or running up to kids at the park or ending up on somebody's porch. He was lost. He was lost and in survival mode. So I tried for a week with no results at all, no one seeing him, no luck at all. And I spoke with the lady who had rescued him uh, from the shelter, from the Russell County shelter. And she referred me to a lady named Monica Good who owns the 340 Quick Stop in Port Republic, Virginia. But in her spare time, she does rescue and she does search and rescue on lost pets, which is a really awesome thing. And she has a really great record. And she was 100% willing to come from Harrisonburg area to Clifton Forge many, many times to help me set up traps, to advise me on bait, to advise me on good locations. She provided traps, she provided bait, she provided me with money to buy more bait in case I needed it, um, game cameras and video cameras, and ultimately a camera that allowed me to watch from home on my laptop to see if Lucas had gone into the crate, I mean, into the trap. And when he would not go into the trap, the traditional trap, she and her cousin looked online and found a trap, especially for skittish and large dogs, and they built it. And you're going to see it in a minute, I believe. It's over there before it gets dismantled and moves on to the next dog um, this weekend. It was absolutely amazing, and even that took Lu Lucas about three weeks to get used to. And finally, I was watching my video on um, Monday morning around 4.45, and Lucas showed up at the trap went in, hit the bait, but it swung, so he ran back out. And I thought, no, <laughs> no, come back. And he came back, and this time he took a decisive bite, and the gate dropped. Fantastic. And he was trapped. And I was here within about two minutes, and so were other friends, and so was the Clifton Forge Police Department. I have lots of shout-outs I need to give. They came to help because we wanted to make sure he didn't escape because he would have never been trapped again. You know, after that sort of experience, it just would not have happened. So uh, and we took him home. He's still shy. He's still fearful, but he's happy to be home. And he's gaining his weight back and he's making friends with his brother dogs again and being much more affectionate and uh, bonded to me already. So it's a really wonderful story. But the story within the story is the hundreds, maybe thousands of people who helped, either actively, feet on the ground, you know, looking for him, uh, carrying leashes and treats when they walked in case they spotted him, um, calling me for updates, delivering flyers for me, uh, prayer groups sent me cards, my mountain regional hospice volunteer group sent me money for his vet bill for when he came home. They knew he would be home someday. Um, my church prayed for me. A women's circle sent me card. People brought me dinner. Everybody was asking about Lucas all the time. And, and you're I a Clifton you're a Clifton Forge resident. I am I do. I live in Clifton Forge, but people from Arizona and California were also following him on Facebook every single day, constantly asking for updates even during the day. I usually did two a day. And um, friends in Uganda, Haiti and England as well. So this is kind of a, a worldwide sto success story. And it would have never, ever happened without Monica Good, who came to help me trap him. 
Uh, the Clifton Forge police were wonderful, absolutely wonderful. The uh, Public Works Department guys who were working in Washington Park checked with me every single day because for a while Lucas was hanging around down there. They came running into the woods one day when I shouted because I saw Lucas. They were trying to help me catch him. They were amazing. Uh, Allegheny Printing did flyers for me. There's so many. I, everybody has to be my Facebook friend because I got it really good on Facebook all the thank yous but it was a huge effort and I have never felt so supported so uh, loved and cared for and embraced for me and for a little hound dog from Russell County Virginia what a great story why don't we see if we can find the person who helped you and take a look at the trap please do please do the journal has found Monica Good who came up with a wonderful contraption to catch our pooch. Monica, tell us who you are and how did you come up with this idea to help find Lucas? Uh, my name's Monica Good. I'm from Harrisonburg, Virginia, and I've been rescuing for you know, 10 or 11 years. And I got a call from a really good friend of mine uh, from Kieseltown, Carrie Mueller. A uh, dog that she had fostered had gotten away and Unfortunately, it wasn't on our area, but not too far to travel. So I contacted um, Paula, and she welcomed my help. We tried with some traditional live traps, uh, but they didn't work because Lucas was too big. So I'm connected with thousands of rescuers all over the United States, and one of my good friends, Ruth Elleridge from Missouri, recommended this Missy trap and I wish I could take the credit for the design but I can't but I did have tools enough to mimic one um, this trap was designed from a man from Golden Retriever Rescue and so I just followed a YouTube video and in about 12 hours we had it made and I was on the road here to Clifton Forge to set it up to try to help capture Lucas. And there was success. And when did that success happen? Not soon enough. <laughs> uh, I think I had been involved with Paula for almost a month, at least three weeks. And um, it happened on the 38th day, I believe, 37th or 37th 38th day. day. Uh, the trap had been set up for about a week. I had brought a security camera that connected to a hotspot so that we can watch that on our computers, our phones from home, um, because Lucas was only coming out at night and we could not come in the area. So Paula could sit at home on her computer, log in and watch the camera and watch Lucas come and go, and eventually um, in the trap. <laughs> uh, well, this is a wonderful story. Thanks. And I know Thanks. it's a tremendous amount of effort and many volunteers have been a part of this rescue well, thank and we you. thank and we thank you very Absolutely. much for joining us today it's my pleasure my pleasure i've been welcome nothing but nice things to say about those folks in the clifton forge